Alright, so I want to show you guys how to play, uh, well, basically how to play Minecraft, but I'm going to show it to you guys through, you know, the techniques I use. We'll just name this way. And then, uh, so usually I do large biomes because you know, I don't I don't really like the small biomes because usually there's too many biomes in one area. Bonus chests I'm not doing because play this all on legit I guess. I mean, play it on normal. Alright so here we go. Ooh. This is weird. I don't really like I don't like this bomb that much, but the first thing you gotta do though is cut a tree down. Like any tree that has that's not like huge, like just cut a medium sized tree down like this. That's the first thing you do once you spawn into the world. Just get all the wood, all the wood from the tree. And see, we're lucky though, cause uh, I spawn next to a lot of cows, and you really, you really need food uh, in this. Especially for the first day, you're gonna need to be prepared for anything. So first, what you do though is make make sticks, line them up like that, and then get a pickaxe, and then also make an axe. That's how you want to, that's the first, like, steps you want to take. Because you need to get cobblestone, and you need to get a little bit more wood, but you want to do it as fast as you can, that's why I have a second, I mean, I just have an axe. So then, see, we're cutting the tree way faster, you just want to cut another tree all the way down. It can be another medium tree, but you're going to want to cut two medium tree downs. Or two trees, and then uh, this tree right here, I guess, could count as two because it had had nine total logs. So just bring those. Uh, actually, first, let's go get some cobble. To get cobble, I mean, you can dig straight down to get it because it's like right there, or you can just go and get it um, on the surface or in any caves. Since I'm on the surface, let's get it on the surface. But while you're getting cobble, you want to make sure you're getting coal too, because you're going to need coal to for torches first of all, and then you need coal for the furnace that you're going to make. So, I haven't seen coal yet, but I'm going to get this cobble. Alright, so the amount of cobble I have, 13 is enough for now. And let's just run around and check the surface for any coal. Usually there's coal up here. Alright, so there's some over here. So, just want to go down here and just get all the coal you can. Get at least like, get at least eight. I'm gonna say, get a, you're gonna need at least eight for your very first, like, yeah. Just get, just get eight. Which, I don't know, this, this is slow with the wooden pickaxe, but most coal deposits have more than eight anyway so really it's not a, it's not really hard getting eight coal but if you spawn somewhere else like maybe a jungle or a forest and it's it's not that it's easy to find um caves then it'll be a little harder but I spawn in the uh, mountain hills so so now that I got the coal just bring it back I don't think I don't think I'm gonna be wanting to live where I very first spawned because that area offers nothing. All there is is cows. Um, what you want to do is since there's apples here, that's good. You want food, so since there's cows around here and you need food, just make a sword. Oh, I accidentally made two. That's not what I need, but do that and then cut down your workbench. If it's not in the location you want it, like want to live, and then kill all the cows around the area. You don't need to kill every cow actually. Just kill. Um, you want to have at least like. Uh, you want to have at least ten like ch raw chicken, raw steak, or, or raw beef. I mean, and raw pork. So, whoa. So there we go. Tens right there, and then. You don't really need saplings, so you can I can leave those there. Um, so then, 
I'll show you guys how to set up your first or actually first I'm gonna we're gonna need iron before any of that. So, so I heard a bat, so I'm guessing there's a cave and yep. So let's set let's set a, our workbench here. And we need to make a stone pickaxe also because Oh, and since I have enough I'll make a furnace now. You don't have to make the furnace right away, but I had enough, so I'm gonna do it. And you place that down and throw the coal in there. Don't throw all your coal in there though. And make some sticks so that you can get the torches that you're gonna need for light. So then what you wanna do is put put torches around the area you're gonna want to like live in, I guess. I'm gonna be in this area, so I'm gonna put torches around and the, the reason why you wanna do this is because it stops enemies or monsters from spawning where you are or wherever you want to settle and then now let's go in the cave I have my darkness on or brightness on lowest mm -hmm. so that you guys can see how it is this is scary with like the lowest darkness which is really scary these bats are alright so there's iron here you really want iron this is like the number one resource. Uh, you could say diamonds are, but all diamonds give you really is armor and tools. But iron can be used for more than diamond, and it's a lot easier to get the uh, make make armor out of iron. <laughs> so I'll cook the iron that I have right now. Also, I'm gonna need to cook my food, but I don't have. Furnace. I don't have any more than one. Right, so when you're fighting enemies, just keep your distance, and it's pretty easy. Unless it's a uh, skeleton, then you're gonna need to pretty much dodge their their arrows, which you might you might see me do pretty soon because I wouldn't be surprised if there's a skeleton. I can hear almost like it. every enemy. Alright, I did not know that creeper was there, but if that ever happens, you just want to relight the area it just blew up like I just did with my torches. Relight it and then uh, get ready for anything else because you don't really know what's behind you. And then, um, so since I have one furnace, usually what I do is get two because having two furnaces doesn't hurt at all. And so just place another one right there um, and then start cooking your food because you're gonna need your food as soon as possible and then now that I have iron I'm gonna make an iron pickaxe so now I have all three versions of the pickaxe I don't really need the wooden one though so now that it's reaching nighttime now it depends on what kind of shelter you want to create. You can either live underground, which is really easy, or you can do what I'm about to do, which is I build houses um, under trees, really, because it's, it's easy. Like, you just need, you can either do it with cobble or planks like I'm doing. So, just cover the around the same area of the tr or perimeter that the tree is like that see now I can have a doorway or whatever I don't have a door yet but have a doorway and then you can live basically like this so this is basically a house I mean it's it's kind of ghetto but it's it's easy to make and doesn't cost that much in material alright so since I'm not gonna be living down here I'll just take my furnace uh, I'll take these back and my workbench and then go up here and then I need to uh, just place them down in this area basically so uh, there you go so I'll just there's not a lot of room in here so I'll, just, I'll set them up like that for now and you have Basically, you can stand back here if you want more 
shelter and then uh 